Good morning, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes and subscribes. Thank you guys so much for your views as well as your comments. This is going to be a general reading for my Scorpio Nation. So if you're a Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your birth chart and you would like to cross watch, this is going to be the read for you. Now, this is going to be a general reading, guys. Be mindful of that. So, there's going to be maybe things that resonate and things that do not. For someone, this whole entire reading can resonate with you from start to finish, okay? So, um, just take what resonates with you guys and what does not resonate with you. Pay it no mind because that could be energy uh, of some another fellow Scorpio or a message for a different Scorpio, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get ready and get started. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio today? Show me clearly, please. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have soulmate. So for somebody, um, your soulmate is here. I don't know if you've already bumped into this person and this person is already in your life or if this person is coming towards you. But somebody, your soulmate definitely has jumped into the read. First card out. <laughs> they have something to say. Spirit. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm grabbing the wrong cards again. Let me get my tea tree deck. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio today? Please show me clearly. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? Thank you. So we have two cards. We've got a double message. So we have Ram, a stubborn and aggressive person. And then we have Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Okay? So... For somebody, I'm getting that your soulmate is being a stubborn and aggressive person. And you need to use your intuition to make beneficial changes. It's going to be beneficial to you in this relationship or whatever the case may be. Um, that's what I'm picking up right now. This person, your soulmate, or this person that you think is your soulmate, is being stubborn right now. Or this person is a stubborn and aggressive person or something like that. We're going to get more clarification in just a few. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio today? Please show me clearly. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? Thank you. So we have justice in reverse, okay? So I'm getting that for somebody, uh, you could be dealing with the Libra. There was some type of injustice or something like that that happened. Somebody around you was being very dishonest. Being uh, Somebody is very um, corruptive. Somebody's yes, yeah, very, very dishonest. Not wanting to hold accountability for things. Suffering from a lack of accountability for things. This person is a very unfair person or something like that. For somebody, this could be a uh, fire sign. Maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, or a Aries or something like that. Spirit, tell me about the energy surrounding Scorpio. Show me clearly, please. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have the Two of Swords, and then we also have the Ten of Swords here. So somebody is most definitely dealing with a air sign, or you were dealing with the air sign, or you have some on and off type of shit going on with the air sign or something like that. Because um, I'm picking up indecision. So somebody's indecisive about something when it comes down to this person or something like that. This person, somebody's seeking the truth about something from your person. Okay. This person backstabbed you in some type of way. This person um um betrayed you in some type of way. Okay. This is somebody that um I'm for somebody I'm picking up that you no longer deal with this person. You were indecisive about what you were gonna do with this person because this person is very a stubborn and aggressive person, and you had to use your intuition to make beneficial changes for your own self regarding this person. Okay, this person uh committed 
committed some type of injustice towards you. Um, this person did something very corruptive towards you. This person did something very dishonest uh, around you or to you, and they refused to take accountability for the shit that they done. This person did something very, very unfair to you in your recent past, okay? And um, a lot of you guys were seeking the truth about this situation, and, um, you know, because the lies started to be exposed. You were seeking the truth about the situation. This person continued to tell lies and be dishonest, and then um, the lies began to become exposed, and you found out this person really did stab you in the back. They betrayed you. This person is really an enemy. Uh, somebody masquerading as a friend. Now, for some of y'all, this could be somebody that you were romantically involved with your soulmate. But for others of you, I'm picking up that this was like a friend of me. This was like a friend um, or something like that, a long-time friend or family member or something like that. And um, this person was masquerading as they, like, you know, they was Team Scorpio, but this person was really masquerading. And they really, they really were an enemy, okay? For others of you, this person treated you like a doormat. Or at least they thought that they could treat you like a doormat or something like that. And um, uh, this person really fucked over you. And uh, now, because you've left this person behind, uh, because of the lies that got exposed, because of the injustice that this person committed towards you, because of this act of unfairness and dishonesty that this person committed towards you, it made you not want to fuck with this person or deal with this person or anything like that anymore. At first, you, you were a little decisive about it and you were delaying it. You were postponing the situation because you was, you was, you know, you were struggling to see the truth about some shit, you know? And um, now this person is doing a lot of talking shit about you. This person's doing a lot of bitching and bad mouthing uh, you um, and things like that uh, to other people or the people amongst them or the people that they deal with. This person is very bitter. Okay. This person is, um, yeah, they have an inability to cope with you walking away from them like that. This person can't, can't, um, wrap their minds around the fact that you actually had the audacity to walk the fuck away from them. Even though they had a whole bunch of bullshit and lies going on, you still, you know what I'm saying, decided to use your intuition to make the most beneficial changes to your life towards this situation and you walked away because that's what you felt like would be beneficial to you, okay? And this person is very bitter and angry about it. They have an inability to cope with this shit because the narcissism within their spirit is, um, you know... It's, their ego is bruised. This person is on some shit like, how dare, how dare Scorpio walk away from me? How dare Scorpio think that they could just up and leave and never talk to me again? And stuff like that. There was conflict between you and this person I'm picking up as well. I have the five of wands here at the bottom of the deck. And, um, and, um, yeah, there's a lot of pent up, pent up anger, uh, towards this person. Okay. Um, you suffered a lot of chaos when you were dealing with this person as well. Okay. And that's the reason why some of y'all left these people alone. Spirit, clarify justice in reverse, please. What is the energy surrounding Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So this is about somebody. Scorpio, I'm, I'm picking up that this is you. This person made you some type of romantic proposal or some type of romantic offer or something like that. And you followed your heart with this person. This person, you know, in the beginning they showed you one thing, but after a while it was something totally different or something like that. Yeah. And somebody still holding on to this person. Or this person could be still holding on to you. Yeah. This person is still holding on to you. You ended things with this person. You let go of this person. And um, you don't have no intentions on going back and dealing with this person. But this person is still holding on to you, Scorpio, for some reason. Spirit, clarify this two of swords in reverse. What does Scorpio need to know? Thank you. Okay. So... This person is very determined to get your attention again. Okay? 
Like I said, for some of y'all, this person is talking a lot of shit about y'all to other people. And for somebody, these people are coming back and telling you the things, the nasty things that this person is talking about you and the way that this person is bad-mouthing you. But you're choosing to take the high road and not entertain the bullshit and you're not even really having anything to say about this shit um, because you're just trying to be the bigger person. You're standing your ground. This person is bothered because you won't take them back. You stood your ground when this person did come around. Uh, because like I said, for somebody, for somebody, this person is still holding on to you. And you standing your ground. You're like, no, we're not getting back together. No, I'm, you can't come back and stay. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. And this person is fucked up about it. So they're talking shit about you, but you standing your ground. You're not trying to hear that shit. You, you're moving on towards calmer waters. You have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck, all right? You're moving on from this person. You're healing. You're making progress and moving forward. Things are starting to calm down in your life. There's a calm after the storm type of moment that you're dealing with right now, Scorpio. And you're just not trying to go back and deal with this bullshit. This person isn't this Knight of Cups energy that they portrayed themselves to be in the in the, in the beginning, um, you know, the lies and shit was being exposed. You finally saw the truth about this person and how backstabbing and they were and how they betrayed you. And you just not trying to go back to that. You got relief when you left this person alone. You, um, you escaped this person and, um, you're on a new journey for self now. This person really do want to reunite with you. I have the four of cups here at the bottom of the deck as well. What you don't see coming is that this person really wants a reunion with you. This person wants to come home. This person wants to come back to, to be with you, okay? For somebody, this person's going to ask you to marry them because they 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 so desperately want you to come back. Spirit, clarify this Ten of Swords, please. What is the energy surrounding Scorpio? Please show me clearly. Clarify Ten of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is definitely air sign energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Heavy on the air sign energy up in here, okay? This person feels like that they had a missed opportunity to really fuck with you the wrong way. Like I told you, this person is bad mouthing you and bitching about you and talking a lot of shit about you because you left them behind and this situation is no longer in their control. This person is um saying mean and hurtful things about you and stuff like that because they're angry, they're bitter because you chose to you know, know your worth and stuff like that. And even though you felt like that this person is your soulmate because you have many soulmates in your lifetime, there is no such thing as just no one soulmate. Now, there's a one true love, but soulmates, you have many. They come and they go. But that, that, that true love, that twin flame, baby, you only get one of those. And even though this person was your soulmate or whatnot, you you understood that this person was had betrayed you and stabbed you in your back and fucked over you. And you understood that you had to end things with this person and you had to leave this person behind, okay? And this person is very, very bothered with that shit, okay? They talk shit about you to pretty much anybody who will listen simply because they're angry and they're bothered. Like, they don't like the fact that you're, like, for example, you have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck right here, okay? This person, what this person didn't see coming is that you was gonna just move on with your life. They don't like how smoothly you was able to just move on with your life and move on towards these calmer waters and stuff like that. Some of you guys got new jobs. Some of you guys are building businesses. Some of you guys are self-employed and you, you, uh, you know, once you walked away from this person, you started to focus on yourself you started to want to do different things somebody got a new job started a new career for somebody you started a new business with self-employment you're building a business right now um and stuff like that you're you're working very hard and you're very committed and dedicated to your success you started to focus on yourself and your success and what you wanted to do for you and this person is is like they can't stand it 
They can't stand the fact that you out here making these boss moves. You're making these big changes in your life and you're moving on for the better good without them. And you got peace and positivity in your life without them. And so they're bothered by that. They missed out on that opportunity. They see your growth. They're watching your growth. Because like I said, somebody's building a business right now. Somebody has a new career and somebody has a new uh, business that they have started. And they're building that business up and you're dedicated to that. You're focused on that and you're committed to that and it's burning this uh earth sign person up that you're so focused and dedicated and committed committed to something that you would want to do for yourself and not to them okay they on some arrogant shit right now okay this person is feeling like how the fuck you gonna just get up and just leave me behind and move on with your life and start doing all these great things Meanwhile, they wasn't doing nothing but fucking over you. And we know that with the Ten of Swords right here. Because when the Ten of Swords come out upright, this is about a betrayal. This is about somebody that's stabbing you in the back, being deceitful and manipulative and doing things behind your back type of shit. And this person is bothered that you found out about it. They're bothered that you no longer want to stay and deal with them anymore because you found out about it. Like I said, for some of y'all, this person, it's like, it could be, it could be anything. But I do know that this person treated you unfairly and this person committed some type of injustice. This person could have stole from you. Um, this person lied to you about something. This person betrayed you in some kind of way that made you not want to fuck with this person no more. Okay? And now that you are out of this person's lives, they're bitter, angry, and hot and bothered. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio, please. Thank you. So we have woman. Okay. So for some of y'all, this injustice, this, this corruption, this dishonesty was about another woman. Okay. Your soulmate, um, this stubborn and aggressive person, they were dealing with another woman. Okay. And um, yeah. They were lying about it. You were seeking the truth about the shit, and eventually the lies, the lies were uh were being exposed, and you had you had to walk away. Okay, spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio. Show me clearly, please. Thank you, spirit. So we have fish. Okay, so for some of y'all. Like I said, you guys are building businesses. You guys started new careers. You guys went into starting doing things and, and focusing more on yourself and your finances and getting money and stuff like that. And for a lot of you, this is this is getting ready to come to pass. For some of y'all, it probably already have. If it has not, it's getting ready to very, very soon. You guys, it's finances are going to start looking really, really good. So it's going to be a lot of money flowing smoothly through you guys' hands. You guys are going to be experiencing lots of financial freedom and abundance as well. You guys, it's businesses that I just spoke of that some of you had going on. Those businesses that you guys are building, that self-employment that you guys have been being real dedicated to and focused on and committed to, you're about to start seeing some changes. You're about to start seeing abundance towards these businesses and people are going to start spending money, okay? People are going to start um, booking with you, using your products, um, ordering your products, whatever type of business that you have started for yourself, this business is going to become very, very lucrative very, very soon. Like for some of y'all, um, uh, you've reached that point with this business to where it's about to start paying out for you. You know, you've been, you've already had this business up and going, but you're, you know, you're building it. So for some of you guys, you're getting ready to go through, you know, get to that point where you're starting to see the growth of what you've been doing. You're starting to reap the rewards of what you've been doing. You're starting to get the customers. You're starting to get the business and stuff like that that you're needing for your business to flow throughly and lucratively. For others of you, if you have not saw this type of growth yet, trust and believe it's coming. And it's coming faster than you think. You're getting ready to walk into that phase uh, very quickly and very soon, okay? Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio. Thank you. So we have mice. Like I told you guys, this person that you were dealing with, your soulmate, this person is... is, is um. I told you for somebody, this person stole from you. Okay. Remember when I told you that for somebody, this person stole something from you. And that's the reason why you had to leave this person alone. 
This person is very sneaky. They were being very sneaky and very toxic. And that's why you walked away, okay? Now this person is bothered um, because, you know, they had to take their loss. They had to take their loss when you walked away from them, okay? And they're very sneaky and toxic. And this person was very draining of your energy. This person, like, literally drained all of your energy. Yes, you definitely ended things with this person, which is why we have the coffin card here at the bottom of the deck, okay? This thing, this shit came to a completion, um, this person is, is really dead to you. This was an ending. It was a real painful change and a painful ending, but it's an ending just the same. This is also a permanent ending. So you don't have no intentions on going back and, uh, and dealing with this person. Okay. Because this person, uh, stole from you. Like, and like I said, for some of you, you thought this person was your soulmate. This person was messing around with other women. Um, this person stole from you, took money from you, uh, bamboozled you out of money or something like that in some type of way. And they were also dealing with another woman as well. And um, you got the truth about that shit as well. You got some clarity on that. And so you went ahead and you decided to just walk away from this person because it just wasn't worth the bullshit anymore. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Thank you, spirit. Okay. So for somebody, this person is very codependent on you. Okay. And what this person, or should I say this person is very codependent on your energy. For some of y'all, y'all have a trauma bond with this person. Somebody was seriously considering going back to dealing with this person. Now, this is not going to be for everybody, but there's somebody that was seriously considering going back to this person because you feel like that you and this person, y'all can't live without each other um, and y'all stuck together like glue or something like that. But what, what, but, but what you don't understand is that this person is very stubborn and aggressive. What you think is a bond between you and this person is not a real bond. It's what you call a trauma bond, okay? It's a trauma bond. You keep going back dealing with this person because you feel like that, oh, we got a connection. We have this bond. We share this shit. We've been through that. But in reality, y'all just have been through a whole lot of toxic bullshit, and that's why Mice is here, okay? When this card comes out, this is about somebody that's very toxic and sneaky. This is about somebody that's very draining of your energy, okay? And that's this person. So what you think that you have with this person is a bond it's not it's a trauma bond and you really need to um leave this person alone you see that you see how we have lessons at the bottom of the deck but it's in reverse so what's this what this is letting me know is that there's somebody on here that have not learned a lesson with this toxic person yet this person gives you this knight of cups energy this romance um these romantic offers and shit like that and um you know they try to show you this gentlemanly behavior this warm or this gentle behavior and men you're not excluded because it's a man on here that got a trauma bond with some woman as well all right um and she not no damn good this woman is toxic she's draining she's sneaky she stresses you out you know what i'm saying you need to let it go man you need to let it go. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. So we have setbacks. I rest my case. I can't make this shit up. This person done caused you a lot of delays and a lot of setbacks in the past because this business that you were trying to build and this new career that you were focused on having, this person kept your ass so stressed and under all this motherfucking bullshit that you didn't have time to go and get this shit done, okay? Spirit is letting you know that this person is, by, by going back and dealing with this person, this person is going to cause setbacks in your life if you go back dealing with this person, okay? You got a whole lot of good things coming towards you with the fish, okay? Fish is about money. Fish is about wealth and abundance and uh, good business ventures and money flowing and financial freedom and stuff like that. So you can't nobody fuck this shit up but yourself. And going back to the toxic BS and not focusing and continuing to stay focused on what you have going on is going to cause you a setback, okay? You know what I'm saying? And for some of you guys, like I said, this person caused a setback in your life. But Spirit is letting you know I'm hearing pick it up, pick up and try again. That's what I'm hearing. So that's how I'm knowing that... Um, 
this person caused you some type of delay or some type of setback with what you were trying to do for your own self, okay? You were trying to do something productive with yourself and this person caused you a lot of delays and setbacks with all the drama, the lies, the dishonesty, the corruption, and all the bullshit going on, okay? And also, like I said, somebody this person stole from you as well, so this person could have caused you a setback in that way also. But what I'm hearing is that spirit is telling you to pick up and try again because you got money coming towards you. Go ahead and, and pick up and try again and go and get the, start that new career that you wanted to start. Go ahead and get that business up and start building that business. Go ahead and commit yourself to doing that because it's going to bring you a whole lot of fish, which in this, in this terms is money. You feel me? It's money. Ashanti, call your, text your sister and say, Mama said, yeah. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm recording my other daughter texting. <laughs> Spirit, tell me more about the um, energy surrounding Scorpio, please. Oh, well, all right, Spirit. Let's see. So we have divine timing. We have secrets. And we have maturation. Okay? So... Everything... Is happening right now for you. Good things are about to come to you right now, Scorpio, okay? Divine timing is at work right now in your life, okay? Um, everything is, is about to happen at the right timing for you, okay? You're going to have some unexpected outcomes, but they're going to be in your favor. These are going to be favorable outcomes, okay? You're going you're gonna to get outcome to something in your life that's been going on you're about to receive an outcome for that but it's going to be one that's going to be in your favor okay good things are, are coming to you like right now okay you got good things coming towards you okay and also what i'm getting is that you guys need to keep these things to yourself okay you need to keep these things hidden okay you need to keep these um blessings that's coming towards you to yourself it's what spirit is saying, okay? A lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys have matured spiritually wise, and you guys are starting to become more spiritually aware and understand your purpose in life and understand your assignment and stuff like that. That's why y'all done started picking up on these new businesses. Y'all done started these new careers. And and for some of y'all, y'all spirits have been tugging at y'all heart and um urging y'all to go ahead and start these new careers and go ahead and start these businesses and stuff like that because you got blessings coming towards you as far as with these new careers and these new businesses and stuff like that. Spirit is telling you to use your intuition to make beneficial changes, all right? It don't just stop with walking away from this toxic person, okay? It also it also uh goes along with um, what you got going on right now and your blessings and stuff like that. You need to listen to your intuition and you need to follow your heart, okay? Because that's your spirit is letting you know that it's time to get this shit going. It's time to get the ball rolling. It's time to get this shit cracking, okay? That's what spirit is trying to let you know, all right? Use your good judgment, okay? Because you guys have evolved spiritually, okay? So you guys, this intuition is like real strong right now. It's real strong, heavy on the strong intuition right now. Listen to your gut. Just like you had to listen to your gut about this person, you need to listen to your gut about this financial situation with your new career or your new business. Because for some of y'all, it's one or the other. For somebody, it could be both, you know? So, um, yeah, be mindful of that, you guys. Okay, be mindful of that. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio, please. Thank you, Spirit. So, you guys, there's a false person around you, okay? There's that person again that I was telling you about earlier in the reading. There's a very false person around you. Remember when I just told you guys that I was getting, that I kept hearing that you need to keep your blessings a secret. 
Okay, you need to keep your blessings to yourself. You need to hold back on telling people your plans, what you want to do. Everybody don't need to know what you're doing. Okay, you don't need to let your left hand know what your right hand doing. If if y'all heard that saying, never let your left hand know what your right hand doing, because it's not their business. It's somebody around you that's real motherfucking fake, and this could not even necessarily be somebody that you is got a personal deep relationship with. This could just be a motherfucker around you, a motherfucker you know at work or watching your social media there's somebody around you that want to see you doing good but don't want to see you doing better than them type of shit okay so you can't go out here and tell your plans to everybody and when the most high start letting these blessings come pouring down on you don't go out here running and telling everybody and stuff like that because it's people out here that's praying for your downfall that's what I'm hearing. People is praying for your downfall. There's somebody out here that wanna see, don't want to see you make it. For some of y'all, it's one person. For some of y'all, it's multiple people, hence the male and the female. It's multiple people that don't want to see you doing good. Somebody out here praying for your downfall because you got to remember that this person was very toxic and you had to leave this person behind. And like I said, for some of y'all, it's a soulmate. For others of y'all, this don't necessarily have to be a person that you was in a sexual relationship with or a, like in, in that type of relationship with. This could be family members, friends. This could be, um, you know, like I said, a friend or a family member or something like that. And um, this person don't want to see you make it or these people don't want to see you make it. That's why um, I'm letting you know. I mean, that's why this card is here because there's somebody around you that's, that's going to be that's praying for your downfall. They don't want to see you make it but just on the strength because they mad because you walked away from them and they can't use you anymore. So they are literally out here hoping that you going to uh, fuck up and start doing bad. Um, they out here talking shit about you to other people, bad mouthing you, um, saying nasty, rude, fucked up things about you to anybody who will listen, trying to destroy your character and break down your character and things like that. But it's okay. Don't worry about it because that person is somebody that you don't need to be no longer worrying about anyway because that person is in your past and you had to cut this person off for a damn reason. All right. Spirit, tell me more. What is the message for Scorpio? What do they need to know, Spirit? Thank you. Occupation. You see that? I told you, somebody's trying to start a new career right now. Somebody's trying to um, get a new business going. Some of you already have done this. Others of you is coming. You see that? For somebody, you could possibly be a fashion designer. They like to design clothes or make clothes or something like that. And you done started a business, a fashion designing business. You know, that's what I'm getting as well. Somebody could have started, somebody done started a business with clothing, some, uh, some type of clothing line or something like that. Um, you guys, uh, but yeah, you guys are going into businesses for yourselves and starting new careers and things like that. Okay. And it's pressing that you ended things with over here. All right. Y'all got, y'all see that? It's double clarification of ending. You got coughing two times, okay? This person is hot and bothered because you ended things with them. You walked away from them. You had to cut them out your life for various reasons uh, in this reading and stuff, okay? Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Scorpio. Show me clearly. Thank you, Spirit, all right? So we have lovers. There's that earth sign again. Gemini. Like I said, this person... For y'all, uh, this person, Earth sign, Gemini, Libra. I picked up, uh, uh, I picked up an Aquarius as well. All right. Yeah. This the horizons with this person. You're not talking to this person. You don't deal with this person. Okay. And this person, I told you, they fucked up about it. I told you, some of y'all is a soulmate. It's somebody that you was romantically involved with. For others of y'all, this is just a personal relationship that you had with other people. Daughters, sons, moms, dads, friends, fake friends. These people, it was somebody around you. Okay? And, and be mindful that, that it's people around you. You can't tell everybody your plans. You can't tell everybody about your blessings because they're going to try to block your blessings. Okay? It's literally folks that go out here and pray to other deities and things like that. So, so they pray for your downfall. Okay? So you got to be mindful of that. Like I told y'all. For, for y'all, I told y'all you need to get you some protection. Alright? You need to stay prayed up. You need to ask. You need to pray for peace and protection from evil things and evil people. Um... 
if you're a spiritual person, um, you know, you can get you some ginger. Get you some dry ginger, uh, some freeze-dried ginger. Put it in a sackcloth and keep it close to you. That protects you from evil. Ginger protects you from evil, witchcraft, sorcery, all that type of stuff. Ginger will protect you from that, okay? Because you got to protect yourself from these types of people because there's literally people out here that's praying for your downfall and stuff like that. They don't want to see you make it due to the fact that they can't be a part of your lives. Due to the fact that they had to miss the opportunity to fuck with you while you're doing something great. They don't get to be a part of your growth. They bother by that. They can't dig in your pockets when you start when you when you bump into this energy right here of the fish uh of the era of the fish the abundance all the money the finances the wealth the money flowing they can't be a part of that they don't like the fact that they can't hit you up for money or they can't hit you up for sex or whatever it is they these people can't use you no more so these people have a problem with you. These people is bothered at the fact that you are moved on with your life to do greater things. And that's why all the, the bad mouthing and the bitching and the, the saying nasty and rude things about you, all of that stems from that. These people are just angry because you, you snatched your power back from them, all right? And that's what's going on right now for you guys, okay? Um, so be mindful. Y'all is on a real y'all are on a real come up right now. And it's people around you that don't want to see it. Due to the fact that they can't be a part of it. That they have they that they got to miss the opportunity to celebrate this growth with you. And they're fucked up about it. Spirit, what advice do you have for um Scorpio? Thank you. Spirit says, what do you need to release? Okay. What do you need to release? For some of y'all, it's these people. Because like I said, somebody got a trauma bond with somebody. Like, trauma bonds don't necessarily have to be with somebody that you're romantically involved with, okay? A trauma bond can be with, with your mom, your dad, um, um, a kid, one of your grown kids, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you got to fuck with this person and deal with this person because... Oh, this is my man and I'm going to stick by him. Or, you know, we've been through a lot. Or this is my mama. You know, at the end of the day, this is my mom. Or at the end of the day, they're still my dad. Or at the end of the day, they're still my brother. Or at the end of the day, they're still my sister. I know she did some fucked up shit. I know she betrayed me. Or at the end of the day, I know that's my daughter. At the end of the day, that's my daughter. Or at the end of the day, they're still my son. Yeah, he betrayed me. Yeah, she betrayed me. Yeah, she stole from me. Yeah, she used me, disrespected me. You know, whoop the whoop, saying all this fucked up shit about me, but that's still my daughter. That's still my son. That's still my sister. No. You need to release these damn people because they don't mean you no good. You need to get these people out your life because they're going to stop your growth. They're going to give, they're going to cause setbacks in your life. For some of y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about because for some of y'all, these people have already caused y'all some setbacks and delays in your life in the past. And if you allow them back into your life or you don't go on ahead and cut them off and release them, they're going to cause some more setbacks in your life. For some of y'all, y'all should have got to this right here, shit, a while ago. But because you kept on dealing with this toxic person and this fucked up ass energy and letting them drain you of your positivity and your positive energy, that caused delays and setbacks. To, to you trying to get to where you trying to go with this new career or this new business that you set up for yourself and stuff like that. You couldn't get none of that stuff done because you ain't trying to release this motherfucking person. This person, that don't mean you no good, you know? And that's not for everybody. That's for that person that's still holding on to this person because of, because of this trauma bond. Because that's my sister, that's my brother, or that's my mom, or that's my son. You got to, just because it's your, 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 your family members, that don't mean that you got to stick around for people bullshit because y'all related, okay? Because, baby, I, I, I got some family members that I don't talk to, that I don't deal with just simply because they toxic as hell and people don't have time for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings. You want peace and blessings in your life. So if anybody around you is negative or toxic, draining your positive energy, draining you of your positive thoughts and making you feel all fucked up inside and stuff like that, that's somebody that don't need to be in your life. That is someone that you need to make exit your life. You need to cut that person off because they don't mean you no good, okay? 
I hope you guys enjoyed this message, Scorpio. Um, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's also a little bell button down there that you can push so that you'll be notified whenever I post these reads for you guys. I hope everybody has a great afternoon. I speak peace, positivity, and blessings over everyone that's watching this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.